What is up YouTube? It is Gun170 here and today we've got the honor of opening up a little collector's box version 2. Now as you can tell it's already opened. Uh, mysteries are not a friend of mine so I already opened up nothing tampered with but you know just couldn't really wait to uncover the mystery. So we have our Raptor uh, Necro Vulture uh, Super Quentin Tull Mecha Beast uh, Aquarium Mirror Illusion Spiritual Beast Tamer Ancient Gear Reborn Envy of Chaos, and I actually really love these cards because they are just um, Black Luster Soldier related. And this one's actually uh, Gaia the Fierce Knight, so kind of related. And on to new news if you don't already know, there, Konami is doing a promo right now of the card Monster Reborn, not Ancient Gear Reborn, just Monster Reborn. And right now the promos are Lost Art. And for every one month, so for this month, they are giving out Monster Reborn promos, the original print. Next month, I'm not sure which part of Exodia they're giving out, but they are going to give out one piece of the original print of Exodia. And... For people who are interested, this is for um, people who spend more than $30 and the store that they buy the merchandise from has to sell or has to be uh, Kunami related. So for an instant, this is just how I interpret it. It, it might be different, but anywhere that uh, does tournament participations if you buy from there then most likely yes they will sell you the uh, monster reborn after a thirty dollar purchase has been made so on to that guys we will open the duelist saga first edition and every time i open a black rose duelist saga i always end up getting the black rose dragon so let's see if i can pull the black rose dragon Solomon Warning, a pretty nice card. <clears throat> uh, for those of you who don't know, Solomon cards are very nice. When a monster would be no, would be summoned, or when a spell slash trap card or monster effect is activated, that activated that includes a Includes the in effect that special summons a monster pay 2,000 life points to gate the special summon or activation if you do destroy that card uh, Crim Wretches Fortress Dragon Silent Angeler Winter King Wild Wind and this actually kind of just looks like Panther Warrior to me White Veil. Oh, no red. No Black Rose Dragon. Well, there's a first for everything. Invi er, invasion. Invasion. Uh, ven ven vengeance. I, it is uh, currently 2 in the morning, so... Please forgive me, my English is slurred, and yeah, we're going to roll with it. <clears throat> uh, Kriston Rose, Rosenix, uh, five, five frame multi, Ox, Space Dragster, Op. Apina Cypher Bit Kriston Tysdervin 
flower stacking. Pretty good. We have one foil. I think we were supposed to get one foil, but that's all right. And then cross soles. So this is our, let's see, we get uh, one SE box, one duelist pack, three foil cards, three rare cards, plus one booster pack. So did I guess this is our booster pack. Would have been nice to get a starter deck UV in Kaifa, but that's impossible. But, you know, we can always pray. Always pray. That's right, with these special editions, I forget that we get two uh, cards. So our first one is Chosen of Zephri. This card gains these effects depending on the number of faced up Zephri monsters with different names in your extra deck. Three or more monsters you control gain 100 attack for each faced up card in your extra deck. Five or more monsters you control cannot be destroyed by an opponent's card effect. Eight monsters you control cannot be targeted by an opponent's effects. Ten you can send this card to the graveyard, shuffle all, all cards from your opponent's hand, field, and graveyard into the deck. Not too bad. Return of the Red Eyes. For all you Red Eyes fans out there, I know, myself included, this card's gonna be pretty awesome. If you control Red Eyes monsters except Red Eyes Black Chick. I really wonder what we have against Red Eyes Black Chick. You can target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it. If this card is in your possession, is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, and sent to the graveyard, you can target one red eyes monster in your graveyard, except red eyes black chick, obviously. Special summon it, you can only use this effect of return of the red eyes once per turn. So I wonder if it's just because we can special summon a monster right after. But, I mean, what is, what is up with the hate with Red Eyes Black Chick? Um, Fiend Griefing, UA, Revival, Rebounder, Despot for Super Heavy Samurai, Soul Buster, Gauntlet. Moon Mirror Shield. It's pretty nice for our first rare. Abyss Stingray. Stingray, excuse me. Doom Dog. Raptor. Uh, Fight Figure Factory. If we can get a clear way out of this, that would be pretty nice. Harmonic. Ops. Ah, harmonic, that's what we'll say. Uh, Raptor. Statue of Agnes. Uh, Edge Imp. Tomahawk. I almost wanted to say Feral Imp, but that's not it. Magma, Dragon, uh, Cernet, uh, Cybernetic Fusion Support. Pay half your life points once. If, you're, if you fusion summon a, mon a machine type fusion monster this turn, you can banish monsters from your hand, graveyard, and your side of the field as a as the fusion material, you can only activate one cybernetic fusion support per turn. Which makes sense. Very overpowered fusion. Uh, Bowhopper, UA, Dreadnought, Dunker. And what can we get for this last pack? Cross Souls. Do we believe in the heart of the cards? Yes, we do. Do we believe we can get... A clear wing dragon? Yes, I do. Let's open and find out what I get. 
uh, Flame Beast, Infernoid Seji, pretty nice card. What is it? Uh, level 6, 2400 attack. Half on Break, Fufferal Sheep, Fusion con Conscription. Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and add one of those fusion materials listed on that card from your deck or graveyard to your hand and if you do for the rest of the turn after this card is activated you cannot normal summon special summon with the added monster's name nor activate its effect you can only activate one fusion conscription per turn not too bad a secret rare Oracle of, Sh of Sifri, nice, very long, uh, when you activate, uh, when this card is activated, add one Sephira monster from your deck to your hand, when you ritual summon using a Sephira monster, or special summon using a Zephira monster as material, you can activate these effects once per turn. Uh, ritual shuffle one monster on the field into your into the deck. Fusion special summon one monster from your hand. Synchro choose one monster from the deck and place it on the top of your deck. X Y Z draw one card then discard one card. You can only activate you can only activate one Oracle of Zephra per turn. Perform pinch helper. Stingray. Doom Dog and Flame Beast. Well, we did not get a clear wing, but they got two pretty nice cards Seeker Rare and Rare. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Sorry to cut it so short, but we are running out of time as of my battery is dying. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Yu Gi Oh! content. Um, for more of the Lost Art, I will be trying to post a video of the new Monster Reborn. And with that guys, thank you so much and have a good night.